should have free tires. They gave Nikki Haley, I forgot how many millions of dollars he left office. We never heard anything about the, the roads um, and never seen the money. I don't do politics, but that's true for it, man. Woo! All right. Somebody got one for, oh no, that's something else. Okay. Look at the sea in the head, boo. A black one. Oh, we got a little scratch on it. It's okay. It's a little ding ding. It's all right. I'm a mess, y'all. So I found a place. And it's a really small little car dealership. Like on a corner. Like it's like a road on both sides. And it's stuck up on a hill in a corner. I didn't see the van. So I turned back around. And I'm about to go up here one more time. And drive through the parking lot and look for the van. And see if I see it. If I don't, it'll let me know they're driving it. So here I am pulling up again. Oh, I see it now. It's in the fence. What time do they get in here? I guess this is, I don't know, it's blue, but it doesn't say handicap parking. <laughs> so, look at it. Wear a mask. I don't got one. Why they got it in the fence, though? Why the good stuff in the fence? I, I see, I think the light is on. I see a light, but I don't know if it's on or on. I'm going to park right in front of his door. All right, guys, I'll be right back. So they're not open and the stuff is in the fence and they don't open till 10. So I'm going to do this. They have some nice colors. I'm going to walk up to the fence. They're in such a cramped little spot. They're not, okay, there it is. I'm about to say, they're not seeing it. Someone is over there moving vehicles right now. All right. Let me see if they'll let me look at it. There's no outside damage on it, except for the little nicks and dings. Like really minor nicks and things. The bumper look like it's tied on. This side look good. It has a backup camera thingy. I've been noticing that some of them have this thing where it's um. I'm sorry, guys. You can't really see in it. Let's see if I can see in the back. Some have this fold down camera thing. It's really nice though. Okay, he said the guys are coming to a 10. Alright, so I'm back looking at the van. Let's see if they're open. It's 10.30. The door says 10.30. The guy told me 10.30. They ain't here. So, yeah, no. That's a turn off right there. I'm good. If he messaged me, I'm going to say, hey, I was at your um, location at 10.30. You guys was not there. So, I don't like stuff like that. That tells me a lot about a business. I now pay attention to the small detail. It is what it is. All right. Their life has not left my mind. I get that. You know, it's crazy because, I'm going to be honest with you, I think about it. And then I kind of like, you know, this is about to be real type situation. And then the thought of actually being in the van is like, oh my gosh, like, did I really think this through? Yes, you thought it through. You sure did. You, you did. My thing right now was just, um, I have everything except the actual bed, but I have paddings for that. Um stuff to put my clothes in and stuff in i got stuff at the house that i could use 
So I don't know. I mean, I do. I can like fold my clothes down and like my little bin things. So I have <clears throat> those. I could put clothes in one, food in another one, <coughs> hygiene in another one. Um. So yeah, where am I going? Am I going straight? Yeah. <coughs> the mucus is coming out, but I'm not mad. I rather it comes out versus going behind my ear and causing that issue I had the last time. Hold on, y'all. <coughs> so, yeah. Um, I'm, I'm ready for it. Um, I do know that I don't want to be making this move during the summertime. Whenever this move is going to happen, it will not be during the summertime. Because moving, cleaning, loading, unloading, adjusting, being in a storage facility, it's hot. Mm -mm. It's hot. Um, and I'm going to be in a car. But my goal is to be... Um, in a car in the car um, temporarily one is such a, a close in close is, is closed in quarters two I'm a thick girl I don't like a lot of heat three I want to be able to move around when something jump off that's it the end so yeah um, that's why I'm, I'm watching like the guy I told y'all that I went and saw the um, not today the other guy, I saw the thing off of Craigslist. The, he did not sell it. Like I said in the previous video, he lied. He did jack it up to $24.50. I found one for $19.99. And I think one cheaper. Similar to it, but in excellent condition. Better than the one he's trying to sell. I was like, shop around, baby. Shop around. Shop around. Where, where, is, where, is, my, where is my road? It's on the other side of this hotel, ain't it? It probably is. It probably is. Oh, this is actually the road. <gasps> Check me out. I did it without the GPS. Okay. Um, I'll be back. Let me go in here and get my pay card and chit chat with the little lady. So now I'm sitting here thinking, right? So yeah, it is true. I work for two weeks and then they'll see if they want me to stay permanently. I think the two weeks, I don't think it's two weeks and training. I think it's the two weeks is in the training. So from this Thursday to next, Thursday and Friday I train. So from this Thursday to next Thursday is a week and then the following Thursday and then <clears throat> I don't know. So we'll see what happens. What is happening? Like the aggression. I don't like this because people drive crazy they start breaking like they act like it's the end of the world y'all y'all don't run after jesus like this why y'all running the road like this but you figure because the world come to an end you want to try to ride to get it right you think one prayer after you acting like a demon your entire life will get you in the show is dangerous. part one and the part two of this upload because of my haul it's gonna be long so yeah it, this yeah this part gonna be a part two it's long it, it's a lot it is a lot i need to get on my side of town but i can use a slushy no you can't how you gonna get it Come. get to the house get to the house Bye, y'all. Again, but it's for a good reason. Let me get something cold to drink, and then we're going to do this haul. I don't know why y'all crooked. Just work with me, please. Oh, my front door is open, and I got this tree that is over the apartment, and the breeze is coming through. It feels so good, but it's hot as a mug. All right, so first thing first. Okay, so this item is a dollar. So when I say dollar, that's my 25 cent spot. And when I said $2, that's my dollar spot. The reason why I can't go tomorrow, because I'm employed. So you know how people have their curtains in their car 
or in their vans um, to separate the front from the back for privacy purposes and it always have to be black. Well, I wanted to mimic the vans, how they have like those metal things with the door or some don't have doors and it has small holes. And yes, it is very long because I just tried it from one end of my car to another from the inside. This is what it looks like. Well, if you can see the holes in it. Can you see? Yep. And it has these two long straps on each side, well on two sides. I don't know why, but I'll use them for something and they stretch. So yeah, so I got two things for the price of one. I need to Google the name that I see that's on here um, and find out exactly what it is. Real you, so I don't know. So, and then it has this snap right here. But I don't know what it snaps to. I hadn't seen anything, so probably this was a return or something. Or I don't know what it, I don't know what it is for. But like I said, I'm gonna Google it and find out. Y'all, I had so much stuff. I had to put three things back because I kind of had an idea of how much money I had. I did that before I went into the store and was three dollars short. I had to go back in off of another card. All right, this was also um, one dollar. Let me make sure I'm telling you right. Yep. Hold on. No, that was two dollars. Yes, that was two dollars. So that's that was two dollars. And then this was also two dollars. So what I'm gonna do is put this. You could put this like at the top of your vehicle, but storage is zips on all four sides. So if you put something in this way, but you're sitting this way, you can unzip it and pull out whatever you got over your head. Okay. So yeah, unzips on all four sides and it has these. Um, and you can just, well, that's strange. Oh, that broke off. Well, something happened because this part actually broke off in there. I don't know. Is that broke off in the other one also? Yeah, so I don't know. So it sounded like it was supposed to be something else to go with it. Oh, no, hold on. The straps are actually the ones that go in there. So I can snap this in here. And I can strap, snap, oh, this is the one that broke off. Another one in here. And I guess do it like that. I don't know. Y'all hear that wind? But it'll be up against the ceiling, the roof of the vehicle. Each item is $2. All right. So the thing I saw on Timu, I'm going to try to picture every time I say it. I'm going to remake that. And when I walked inside the $2 spec section, you know what? I might not picture it, but when I walked in the $2 section, this gave me just what I needed because I needed a base. It had a base with some other stuff. Pocket bear, stuff for your tools, pocket, something right here, and there, right, pocket right here, pocket right here, pocket right here, pocket right here. Yes, this is a um, apron but I'm using it for something else and y'all will see. $2, so the other stuff I wanna add once I think about it, hopefully I can keep it at five, maybe six. And, oh, the last item for $2, I found one. See this one looks about the same size, but I don't know what car it goes to. So I did manage to find one. Um, I'm thinking they did put this in rotation, but someone came in and cleaned house and they're going to sell this at the flea market. So that's what they do. Now, I never know how to put this thing back, so it looks super crazy. I'll probably go on YouTube, but somebody know how to do this. I got my other one to work this fine. Oh, it's opening the car right now. Let me just throw you over there. Okay. So now. I have these 
Okay. Three different colors. The blue one is in here. They're jumpers. It has like the suspender buckles. I don't know if you can see it on here. The little suspender buckles right there. The buckles. And you step right in them with their shorts. So they're for girls. They had a lot of these sitting out. And I was able to get one in a bag. So I got one of each color. I paid a dollar. or probably sell it for about 12 bucks. Um, I saw two of these. It's a cute little clear bag. The, the rubber is not really stiff and crazy. And it comes with another handle in case you want to change it out. I like this. I like this. I like this. So yeah, I got that. I should have gotten the other one. I should just go back and load up to make my store look right, but I don't feel like it. They close at 10 o'clock, so I don't know. Y'all, I gotta reopen my Poshmark store. I really do. I got people that still bundle in, people that still follow me like crazy. And I haven't been doing it then because I've been, van life has been on my mind. But I feel like just go ahead and repost your stuff, you know, better, bigger, price it differently, and, you know, do what you can do. So that's what I'm working on. I got another handbag strap. Y'all, I find these things like crazy. On 25 cents a dollar day, I find them like crazy. Of course, today, I got this for $2. This this was supposed to go with that, the $2 stuff. So, yeah, I got a bunch of these. I got some that I'm keeping, and then I'm going to bundle them and sell them because these are like... 10 or 5 and Hobby Lobby. You can find no cheaper than that. So that's that. Um, that bag is mine. Those other two things are going to be for sale. I'm selling this. This is a blue linen shirt. I don't know if it's a man's shirt or a woman's shirt, but it is a very, very nice. Like, it is really nice. Um, it's probably for a man. Only bad thing is, no, it's for a woman. I don't think, I don't know. I can't tell if it's for a man or a woman. Um, what's the, where's the tag? The tag is never at the neck. It's always on the inside, on the side. There it is. Um, it just says extra large blue. So, either a woman or a man, a slender man or a woman. So, I'm going to definitely sell that. I don't want this to be really long. Seven minutes in. And that blue shirt was a dollar. This was a dollar. It just says large. So a cute little dress or a top. You know, your preference. Beautiful green. I bought this for me. I did see another one. Um, I don't even know the size of this. It looked large, so I got it. I love stuff like this. Give me some nice flare black pants to go with it. Just a regular shirt with a black collar, black top. That's it. With some cute flats. Oh. All right. Um, got me some bubble mailers, black ones, small. Um, come on, come on, come on. Remember, I told you that my um, the cord from my printer to my computer stopped working, and I didn't know those cords can go out. I found one for a dollar. Hopefully, it works. I'm trying to speed up, y'all. Um, I found a bag. It says bride. Is not dirty and also I found this that goes in it so I will be selling that to someone who's getting married I'm gonna put some over it and try to press it out I'm selling this this looks like something people from like India wear um, I like it or guys tend to wear it so I gotta find out what the name of it is but I really do like it and it's really long and it has like the splits on the side. I'm gonna find out the name, but you know, I'm a, I have a thing for other cultures. Got a little clocking and everything. So yeah, I see men or women wearing it and they have pants under it. If I could fit it, I would wear it. But I like that. Um, This is, oh, y'all, cubes, cubes. I saw a lady um, pack her, was it her car? She packed her something, her, her suitcase with cubes for van life and then I saw one do for packing. Check this out. I don't know who dog that is, but that dog been roaming around, pooping in my yard, messing with my false flowers. All right, so cubes. One. Two. And three. They didn't have an idea what they were looking at. I saw some ladies, and I'm looking at this and looking at this, and I'm going, what is that? 
cubes. So what you do is, um, oh, I got a handle, handle, um, unzip, pack, and then, you know, you can strap your stuff down. I'm noticing they got snaps in the back. Okay, oh, well, what is that? Is it to snap the other one on? Oh, wow. Okay, well, you can snap them back to back. Oh, yes, three pieces. Maybe when I saw this, I was like, man, these people, and this is for me to keep because I always wanted some. I tell y'all, at these stores, you'd be surprised what you find. Like, it's just, I don't know, I don't know what to tell you. And dollar, y'all, y'all, y'all dollar. Uh, um, nice, um, silk line blazer, gray. I don't know if it's for a man or a woman. Um, does it have buttons? So it's probably for a woman. So yeah, sell that. Nice professional thing. So I'm, I'm gonna keep one of these and I'm gonna sell one. They had a whole bunch of these, and they could have been in a box. And somebody opened up the freaking box. What size is this one? Okay, so this is the one that I'm selling, and it's medium. Let me see if I can get you a good look at it. Just as cute as it could be. So this is what it looks like. Nice little light sweater. And of course, you know, I got me one in the extra large. <laughs> Um, I only found this in medium with the tag still on it. You are more powerful than you know. Posh Diva. And these are some nice stretchy workout pants. Um, my stomach is going to hang over that part right there. Um, this is a medium. I'm for medium. I mean, you know, I'll get there. What else we got? Oh, and this was the blue one I told you about, of those things, a dollar. This is why I got to open up my store. And I got these. Did the hooks come off of them? No. So, I couldn't find them. I just found the ones to put them in the bag. They're just nice hooks. I'm sure they have, like, the adhesive they put in the back. But that's all they are. really like them. So, Van Life stuff stays. My stuff stays out. And the stuff for sale goes back in this basket to go in this room. And that's about it, guys. <clears throat> hey, guys. So, let's talk about the job. So, let me do a little backstorm and make it quick as possible. I edit this video down a great deal. So I have some space. I was laying down, y'all. I'm sleeping. That's why I sound like a man. So um, what initially happened was I was searching for jobs. And I saw a job that I wouldn't mind doing. And I applied. And it, they had a whole bunch of jobs and stuff. And um, so I applied and whatever else. Didn't hear anything. And then all of a sudden I got the call from what I thought was the temp agency. But it wasn't. Got the call. I don't even know how they got my information. Or did I apply? I must have applied for something, and that's how they got it. But whatever I applied for, Everly, it wasn't there. Because when I got there, brought the information, this was the place where the lady at the front desk was absolutely just, like, her, she's just very competitive and just nasty. Her tone, everything about her. You work at the front desk, that should be the last thing you would have, demon. Um, Calming, and like I said, she, now that I think about it, she never even told me about the position. Um, so they got my information. I did the application or whatever the case would be. Lady pulled me back. She was like, you know, when we get jobs that come in and go, we don't have nothing right now. And I don't even remember the job I applied for for some people to get my information. It's a tip agency. It's legit. So then she tells me, well, we have a position, um, at, um, for a legal assistant. So I want to help, you know, at the desk or whatever. And I was like, okay, you know, let me apply for it. And, I applied for the job, had the interview. So your legal assistant at an attorney's office. So um, she told me, she was like, yeah, you get two weeks of training and, you know, we're going to do the interview. And she kind of gave me a quick little rundown and emailed it to me. 
Will I be getting paid? No benefits, the hours, the location, the two weeks training, and a list of what you'll do. It's like, okay, I can do this. Okay, and as you saw earlier, I got the job. So, um, got there and learned that they omit some information. So, a legal assistant kind of does with a, something. Well, no, I can't say they do what a paralegal do. I wouldn't even do that because a paralegal is the runner. They're the reason why attorneys can make, they can have a business. A paralegal is runs the show. Just like when you go to a doctor and they have their, um, I don't know what the other person, the phys- not the physician, it's a doctor, but they really don't do nothing. It's the other person that do it. I, I forgot what you call it. So um, this sells a legal assistant. So then um, I get there and the guy that assists him has been working in that position for a year. The two ladies, one has left, the other one works from home, just putting in information, but they've been gone for more than a month. He hired a young lady to help that has cerebral palsy. He gave her a chance because no one would help her. And that was good. Okay. Um, I'm sure if it was me, I don't think I probably would have, you know, I don't know. You know, it's whatever. So, um, I get there and the guy's like kind of just, you know, Da, 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 da. You know, he's trying to just tell me everything, tell me everything, you know, show me how to make a payment. But we couldn't make the payment because we didn't have anyone there. I saw the book. The book has a lot of information, but the book is extremely outdated. So the steps aren't really stepping. So if someone came in to do a payment. I was able to complete the transaction. I just remember him saying the two important things. Keep this receipt and make sure you email it to them and make sure there's a copy in their file. Okay, got that done. Um, I would answer the phone, take a message. Um, and then there was, he. Yeah, I remember them kept stressing, we have templates, we have templates, we have templates. They're not templates, they're saved documents. And he wants stuff um, done a certain way. I'll get back to that. So what they failed to tell me is, the young man that briefly trained me, because he had his job to do, was that he was going on vacation. The attorney said out of his mouth numerous times, and the guy who was going on vacation he don't know how to do anything. Nothing. Computer savvy. The documentation. Nothing. Nothing. But he's an attorney. They have a way around things. They don't know how to do things. They'll gaslight the crap out of you. And X, Y, Z, A, B, C. I don't trust an attorney lawyer or whatever you want to call them so um i was like okay so the guy's helping me he's leaving and you're cramming me in, in two days i most likely can get a lot of stuff but i don't like to be hovered over I, and now with his training is fine but don't try to tell me how to do something you don't even know how to do so um he's giving me so you know day one Right at the gate, he brings me something. He said, I need you to, you know, type this up. So first what he does, he, he'll write down what he wants me to type. Um, He writes words to the doctor. And he says, you know, I know my handwriting is bad. This man's hair I'm writing is horrible. It looks like scribbles and zigzags. This has two letters. The word this has two letters. That's just how he writes. He brings it to me. And first I have to translate before I can type it up. The format is what you're doing is someone already typed up a letter. You have to go in and just put things where they want to put. And, you you know, you have to focus. First, I have to understand what you're saying. So I get, I go back to him. I say, like, what is this? What is this? What is this? I'm writing it down. I'm typing it. And then he comes, not even five minutes. said, this is day one. Five minutes later, he was like, hey, I need you to do this. Like, he's bringing all the stuff to me. Day one of training. My training was a good, throughout the whole day, 10 minutes. Because I was grabbing it, yes, but give me time. I've never worked in an attorney's office. Things are done a little different, okay? Things are done a, a, a little different, yeah. A, a different, whatever. So, 
you know, the guy's like, man, you're doing good. You're getting it. You know, I'm rocking it out. So one calls is pretty much, you know, take the message. This is how he wants me to do it. This is another thing I, I really don't like. He was like, you know, someone calling, you know, get the message, ask if they're a client, if they're new, whether they want. See, the boy's showing me one way. He's showing me another way. So the boy was like, if they call, ask me if they're a current client, and then, you know, come get us. Okay. So someone called, happened to be not a client. She was retaining an, off, uh, 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 an attorney because she said that a city official has been um, talking about her business. Like she's a, she's a, um, party planner. And she said one of the city officials had been, you know, bad mouthing her business. So I'm on the phone talking to her and he happened to be sitting there giving me loads of stuff. Okay. Um, and so she calls in and she was like, I need to seek an attorney. And I said, are you a current client? And she goes, no. And I said, and so he's like, well, that's good. You know, no, she said, I said, are you a current, a current client? And she said, no. I said, no. I said, okay. And then he, I hear him saying, ask her, you know, what does she need help with? So I said, well, man, what is, you know, what exactly is happening? Why do you need to seek an attorney? And then he's back to correcting the wording that I said, sir, I'm not a, fu I'm not, I've only been here. Okay. He's an attorney. He's a low key at, anyway, I'm. So I'm getting pissed off thinking about it, but I'll tell you what happened. So she tells me, she was like, you know, city, one of the city officials are doing this to run to my business. Um, and so he's in the background going, okay, I tell her, you know, to um, Google um, an attorney that handles that take over city, um, city official cases. Like he's telling me all this while I'm talking to her. Instead of you grab the dog on the phone and tell her, because I don't know what to tell this lady. You know, I, you're a criminal lawyer. I don't know that you can't handle this. I don't know what you can handle, what you can't handle. So, um, and I said, so then she goes, and I, I told her what he, I told her what he said about, you know, googling an, uh, an attorney that handles city official cases or calling to verify. And she, you know, she's asking, she's not being rude. She's just trying to understand. She was like, well, what is the difference between, you know, what y'all do and, you know, me Googling someone like, I don't, I guess she's trying to figure out who does what, how, how do you tell the difference, you know, X, Y, Z. So he tells me, tell her just to Google it and call them. And, um, she asked that question and he said, just tell her it's complicated. You know, okay, bye. I'm not about to do that to her. So he, that's what he wanted me to tell her. And I was like, yeah, it's a little, it's complicated. So I be, it'd be your best bet to try to Google someone and call them and ask them, you know, and she still won't talk. And he was like, just tell her bye, just tell her bye. I'm not about to do that. That is so rude. So then he would bring me something to type up. I have to understand your handwriting and I have to find this template that y'all have been talking about since the interview that don't exist. Then you want it done this way. Then you done it that one. We reprinted paperwork almost 10, 15 times. Then you he's like, no, no, do it like this. Well, no, I'm going to add this. No, take this off and do like this and do that. Like, like lawyers have lingos and all this other stuff. And I, I have no background in that type of stuff. I on, on the list it was like answer phone, take payment, set up folders, I think file and you know something else, something else, something else. Okay, so I get you should have said, hey, you're gonna be typing up some documentation or whatever the case may be. I'm not good at that type of stuff. So you saying template, I'm thinking, okay, there's a template. Now I know how you want to set up, you know, XYZ ABC. You have to add certain things to the bottom, you know, and it's 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 not, I'm sure it's not hard, but I've never done it, so I'm learning two days. Didn't know my trainer was going on vacation and you didn't have people in place. Two women that left for a month. So then the second day, you know, he kept saying, oh, you're doing fine. You're doing fine. I had a document. This man was, he would bring me stuff and not even God's not witness. Five minutes later, he's back bringing me more stuff. Sir, I'm in training mode. You want me to actually do live things right now. And so I had a documentation and I worked on computers and he was on my neck. And I miss and delete the, trans the thing. But, you know, you can always re recover it. He goes in the office. I guess he blows on smoking. He come back. So I could tell when he was starting to get frustrated. Sir, you want me to get something you don't know how to do in two days. And you're over me, bringing me shit. Let me get it first. I don't need you to keep bringing me stuff. That's not fair for two days. So then he could tell I was getting frustrated by the look of my face. Because, see, the, the, the muscles in my face don't give a f don't care. 
I will smile, but in my, my facial expressions, I can't control that. I need muscle relaxers throughout the day. So he was like, oh, you're doing fine. He was like, you can do this. He said, we're going to be fine. You just take. And this is what he kept saying the whole time. Just take it slow. This is going to take some time. But you bringing me crap and you frustrate me. You stand it over me and then had the audacity. The second day, on second day, the boy left at four o'clock to go out of the country for two, um, for two weeks. So he brings me something. He was like, I need you to um, scan this, make the envelopes, you know, send an email, you know, do the, so I understood what he wanted me to do was I had a, a documentation. He wanted me to email. He wanted me to email someone, two people, email one person, CC the other person. He wanted me to scan it and say, you know, see document attached, have a great weekend. So when I scan it, I would attach that scan to the email. Okay. Um, I think also it has, um, original document in the mail or something like that. Okay. I did that, attached it, sent it. Okay. So after I scan it, you know, and I've attached it, it's still sitting in the scan bar. So you have to label what it is and put it in their file in the system. And then it's just correspondent, whether it's letter, email, whatever the case may be, it goes. So if you have to go back and say, Hey, I sent you this, you know, this is the day I sent it. Um, I, it is the day I scanned it. This is what it looks like. Check your email. And then the document, you know, you put your, um, you, um, you send whatever, if you're going to type up a letter you know, short, brief letter with the actual document, you go ahead and you scan your, um, not scan, you go ahead and, um, print out your envelope, put it in the mail, stamp it in there. He's sitting in front of me going, well, don't you, you, now mind you, he don't know nothing. He's going, um, so I, he was like, did you scan? I said, yeah, I scanned it. You know, I, I scanned it. And then he's sitting right there just trying to tell me something he don't know how to do. And he's all backwards. I said, yeah, I scanned it. I said, what do you want me to do? He's like, well, no, you don't label this. I'm thinking to myself, yes, the hell you do. Because you will come back to me five minutes later. Hey, do you see this letter? It's not my fault because your stuff is not where they need to be. Because every time he was like, he would go do um do date modified. I could tell someone who taught him this. I promise you. And he was like, well, do you see this letter? Okay, so... You want me to do date and modify, but the day you're telling me to look for the letter is not in there. So where would it be? Well, well can you look in there? Okay. Sir, this is your fault. This is your fault. Two days of training and you cramming and getting frustrated at me. And then you're going to try to gaslight me at the last day. And this is what really put the ice on the cake. He knew I wasn't coming back. He was like, you coming back Monday, right? I was like, yeah, hell no. So I called the temp agency. I called them and left the message. And the lady happened to call me, which is the president of the company. I guess she's the office manager. Um, Friday evening. And she's like, you know, I like to make my clients, you know, um, happy and, and make, you know, I forgot what she called me, the tip. Well, whoever, happy. And she was like, you know, um, so she, she was asking me stuff. But like I said, she omit information also. She didn't never told me that the guy that's training me, I thought the two days was within it. I didn't know that he was leaving. No one had been there for a month and he don't know how to do the job himself. And she was like, um, she was like, you know, and she was like, um, I told her the situation. And I was like, I, I can't deal with that. I said, that's, that's too much. You, you, you know, the guy's going on vacation and he doesn't know. She was like, he doesn't know. I said, no, he doesn't know how to do it. He said it out of his own mouth. And she told me about her mom didn't know how to do it. And everybody knows how to do this. Nah, 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 nah. Um, I didn't know the gaslight was about again. I don't know why people like that, like the gaslight people. Because he tried to get to end and he knew I wasn't coming back. So she was like, yeah, she was like, I think you can do it. I think you're smart. And you're very intelligent. And I think you can do it. And there's money in your pocket, blah, 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 blah. And I'm listening to her. And I'm like, you're trying to make this man happy. You didn't tell me everything. And she was like, I came out to, I, she came, she talked to him. She's like, yeah, I talked to him. And he kept talking just two weeks, just two weeks, you know, and um, he, you know, he this and he that. And, you know, and I'm like, ma'am, the boys, I said, he's going on vacation. You know, and the two ladies are never coming back. Like, and she's like, I think you do fine. You're going to Monday and you just, I was telling her about some of the stuff I had to do. And there's another lady who's like, no, I'll, you know, we'll, you just take the payments as a phone. That's it. You know, let the other lady do it. You're telling me this, but you're telling me something else different. You're not about to gaslight me. I said, I called and I thought about this. Y'all, when I told y'all, when I left work, my heart was beating. My pressure was up. I was so aggravated, so sick and stressed out. I was so frustrated. I cried. I got in that bed. I laid down. I cried. 
That's how stressed I was. And the gaslight didn't help the situation. So I thought about this. I thought about this. I thought about this. And I was like, you know what? That's not my fault. He calls us on his own. Why would you omit some information? And I didn't know this man was going to be on me trying to get you. You you don't, you don't can't do it like that. That you, You're not about to do that to me. You do that to somebody else. Maybe somebody else can, you know, understand when it comes to, you know, keying the stuff and whatever. Maybe they can. Maybe I, it's just not for me. Maybe I just don't know how to do it. That's cool. So after she told me that, I laid in that bed and I thought about this. I said, you know what? I'm not about to do this to myself. My health is more important. I'm not about to do this to myself. I called. I was like, I know you're not going to want to hear this. And I know I can never work for the company again. But what I went through the past few days, I'm going to go through for the rest of two weeks. And I said, I can't do this to myself. I'm not about to do this to myself. It's not fair. I left the message on and I disconnect the call. Give my money. Go on about your business. Find somebody else. He is SOL for two weeks. Fault of his own. In a tech agency. So y'all will be telling every doggone thing. And even if y'all don't know to tell everything, y'all need to try to pick them. Because the reason why I know she didn't tell me everything is because on the call, she told me stuff and she wasn't even there. You're going to de- decide to tell me when I call you, tell you I'm leaving that year and the guy's going on vacation. Tell me he was going on vacation. The guy that's training me, that's leaving me with this man that don't know what the hell he's doing. How you going to give instructions to somebody and you don't know what you're doing? When I left that office Friday, the day one, I didn't even take a lunch. I couldn't take a lunch because he just kept cramming stuff on me. The second day, I was like, because the guy, he was like, listen, he doesn't know what time five o'clock is. He doesn't know that you need a break. He was like, you know, he's going to come to you and bring you stuff. You just tell him, you know, just let him know, sir, he can, you can do that with him. This right here can't be doing stuff like that. Mm Mm-mm. We get in trouble. We be the first thing finding out the door. I don't care how nobody feel about it. The truth is the truth. And a lot of people don't like the truth. Choke on it. Anyway, so he's telling me this stuff and I'm soaking it up. You know, still trying to be nice, still trying to take it in. But baby, when I tell you that clock said four o'clock and when I walked back in at my break, I took a break for like 39 minutes. He was like, yeah, I'm about to leave and take my flight. I'm thinking to myself, I got an hour with this man. Five o'clock couldn't come fast enough. This man sat in front of me with a bunch of stuff, want me to do it. And it was 5.15 when I walked out of the door. Someone wanted to take a payment. And I told him before, I was like, yeah, I'm, I want to go ahead and, and go. He was like, "Um, I said, I have a headache. He said, no, don't don't have a headache. Don't stress until someone tells you to stress. You know, don't don't stress. I'm not your fucking client. Excuse my language. I'm not your client. I'm not your client. And the more I think about this and the and more how she gaslight because she was more, more, more into keeping him as a client or on her contract or whatever they call, you're not about to do that to me. I'll be unemployed, living off of a credit card and file bankruptcy to save my credit before I let you and anybody else affect my mental health. I don't like how that was done. I don't like, I don't, I don't care. And it was so funny <laughs> Because when I took my break, another tip agency called me. I took my break at three something. Another tip agency called me. You don't think, because I'd already decided I wasn't coming back. Do you not think that I'm not going to see them Monday morning, nine o'clock? Straight to the office. Straight to the office. Don't let nobody gaslight you to do their BS and fix their mistakes. You know, we're not doing that. We're not doing that. And you're not going to do it to me. I don't care how unemployed I am. I don't care if I'm around here just trying to figure out how I'm going to figure stuff out. I don't care. I got paid for my other job. I still have a roof over my head for the next 30 days. I need to have a job by the first or the first week of the month. I'll find something. I still got my night job. I can go back on my day job. I just don't want to do that because I'm sick of being... like It's a grocery store and I'm sick of having to watch people walk out the store with stuff under the basket. But anyway... I don't have to worry about it. Now they can deal with it. There's nothing nobody can tell me about this situation where I'm wrong. You're not about to do that. When I got in that bed last night and cried, I was so stressed out. You would think that I had a life sentence. Nope. I'm good. So I'm unemployed. Again. So 
um, the first of the month bills <laughs> are paid. That's it. Keep moving on. You know what was crazy? And I just thought about this. I'm unemployed and don't know how my bills be paid. Could be homeless. X, Y, Z, A, B, C, everything to come with it. But this job had me more stressed out than the situation of not having a job and can't pay the bills and X, Y, Z, A, B, C, and everything else to come with it. That speaks volume. That speaks volume. Oh, yeah, volume. and let me add this right quick. Another little thing he tried to do with the gaslighting. Doesn't it feel good to send an email and put down, you know, he said my first and last name, illegal assistant under it? No, it's better to be unemployed, sir. And put my first and last name, still unemployed. Yeah, I like that for now.